Hello and welcome to this presentation on GCSE Drama. Now before we dive into the nitty gritty of the course, I think it's worth mentioning that drama is quite different than a lot of other subjects on the curriculum. In drama, your success is intrinsically tied to your ability to work effectively with other people. To make a good piece of drama, you must be creative, but you also have to be open to the creativity of others. Student absence has a massive effect on the success of other people. If you're not there for your group, then they will find it very difficult to move forward. Also, occasionally some students think drama will be an easy option. It's not. There's a lot of practical work in the course, but there is also a written exam at the end. So I hope you're here for the right reasons. If you are, if the idea of being creative, if the idea of you and your ideas being at the center of the work, then welcome. Welcome to a world of infinite possibilities. Okay, why is it important to study GCSE drama? Well, studying drama will encourage you to value your creativity. Human beings are amazing. Yes, we are capable of stupid, horrible, thoughtless acts, but we are also capable of beautiful, inspiring, amazing things. When I was a boy, there were no computers, no internet, no streaming, no mobile phones, no Instagram. Those things which we take for granted now exist because somebody had a creative response. Somebody had an idea. Somebody asked, what if? And then with the help of the people around them, they took the idea and they made it a reality. You are capable of that as well. You are capable of innovation, of creative response, of feats of imagination that you never thought possible. And drama will help you access that. It will give you the skills to take those ideas and to make them a reality. Collaboration, the ability to work effectively with other people, people you like, people you don't like. Drama is group work. You are always working with other people and you have to take their ideas on board. You have to listen to them. You have to make them feel valued and they need to value you and take your ideas on board. What could be more valuable to an employer than someone who can come in and work effectively as a team? Confidence. Drama will not get rid of your fears and your nerves, but it will give you the skill set to overcome them. We all get scared and nervous about things like job interviews, asking for promotions, telling the boss they've made the wrong call. But we have to be able to take those creative risks. We have to be able to step up and do things which we find difficult, which we find nerve wracking, which scare us. And because drama involves that performance element, it will help you develop the skill set that will allow you to do it, even though you might be scared, even though you might be nervous. Planning and organization. Drama is not easy. Anyone can get up and perform a bad performance, but to do a good performance takes a huge amount of work, thought, and effort. Anyone who's ever been involved in a school production will tell you how complicated it is just to get everybody facing the same way, let alone performing to a really, really high standard. If you can create and perform a piece of drama to a high standard, you can probably do anything. At the end of the day, drama students learn how to work effectively anywhere with anyone. Why do students choose to study GCSE drama? Students who choose drama are imaginative, creative, they really enjoy working with others to bring their ideas to life. They get a huge amount of satisfaction from helping other people bring their ideas to life. Drama is not about training you to be an actor any more than history is about training you to be an archaeologist. If you want to pursue a career as an actor, if that's something you're passionate about, that's absolutely brilliant. But that is not all there is to the subject. As well as creating and performing, drama students enjoy writing about their rehearsal process, their ideas, how they've developed and improved over time. There is quite a lot of writing in GCSE drama. It's an academic course and you will need to be quite adept at moving between the practical and the written elements of the GCSE. Over the course of the two-year GCSE, you will be given lots of opportunities to go and experience live theatre, different genres, different styles, different playwrights. Uh, and whether you're someone that's been to the theatre a lot or you've never been to the theatre before, as long as you're open-minded and enthusiastic and willing to try new things, I think that will be a really valuable and exciting part of the course. Drama students are kind. They are empathetic. 
Is this something that's very, very important to me? By helping other people, we make ourselves better. Drama teaches you that you have a responsibility not only to yourself, but to the people around you, to the team that you work with. Students who take GCSE drama often aspire to work in the creative industries. They might want to take it further and study drama or theatre studies at A-level or university. Here are just a few potential careers that you might consider pursuing with a GCSE or A-level in drama. Hugely diverse set of careers, everything from screenwriter to set designer to voiceover artist, film or TV editor, hair, makeup, special effects. You might be the person uh, who pens the next script or story for uh, a big computer game epic, the next Assassin's Creed, the next Last of Us, the next Elder Scrolls. Those jobs are out there waiting for you if you are willing to put in the time and the effort and the hard work to make it happen. Money isn't everything, but I would be lying if I said it wasn't important. You are in luck. The creative industries are a growth industry in the UK. We now have more movie studio space than Hollywood, and there is a looming skill shortage. There are not enough skilled people to fill all the required roles. So the work is out there for you if you're willing to work hard uh, and go after it. These are popular jobs. People like working in the creative industries because they are creative, because they are collaborative. There's a huge amount of job satisfaction uh, in these careers. Who knows, maybe you're the next Tom Holland. Maybe you're the person who helps an aging Tom Holland get into his Spider-Man outfit. The possibilities are endless. Okay, let's talk about the GCSE syllabus. We follow the EDUCAS exam board at GCSE, and that is split into three components. Component one is devising theatre, that's 40% of your qualification. Component two is performing from a text, that is 20% of your qualification. And component three, which is a written exam, is interpreting theatre, and that is 40% of your qualification. I'm going to go through each of those components in a little more detail in subsequent slides. Component one, devising theatre. Now, devising means creating a piece of drama from an idea or a stimulus. And that stimulus is set by the exam board. So they might give us a poem or a story or a song, basically something that begins a conversation, begins generating ideas. You and your group go off, you discuss, you come up with options, you narrow it down to something you really want to focus on. You begin creating a performance. You rehearse, you polish, and eventually, of course, you uh, perform that piece to an audience and are assessed on it. Alongside that goes a rehearsal diary, which charts the progress of your rehearsal. Your ideas, where did they come from? How have they developed? What skills have you used? What styles and practitioners have you been influenced by? Once you've performed, you then have to do a written evaluation where you write about what went well in your performance and what you might improve if you had the opportunity to do it again. Now, this will probably take the majority of year 10 because alongside this, We'll be doing lots of practical workshops about how to actually structure and create a piece of drama. We'll teach you about characterization, improvisation, physical theater, different forms of staging, different practitioners and the influence they've had on drama uh, over a thousand years. Lots of practical work, hopefully very enjoyable, hard work, uh, but very satisfying, I hope. Component two, performing from a text. This is 20% of the GCSE. We will pick a play, something that you will find really exciting and interesting, something modern and dynamic. You will pick two extracts from that play and with your group or your partner, you will learn those extracts and create a performance that will be assessed by a visiting examiner. Sounds simple, but the level of preparation needed to do well at this is really very high. Learning lines is really just the beginning of the process. In fact, you won't be able to uh, reach the standard that's expected until you've learned your lines. That's kind of the baseline. So there will be quite a lot of work um, needed to learn those lines and create a performance of, uh, of the appropriate standard. 
but once again, practical, collaborative, enjoyable. Finally, component three, interpreting theatre. This is a written examination. It's an hour and a half long, and it's 60% of the GCSE. Split into two sections. Section A is a series of set questions on a set text. This will be a different play than the play you performed in component two. You will need to know this play inside and out because you could be asked to answer questions from a number of different perspectives as a director, as a designer, as an actor. Section B is a live theatre review. As I said, you will have lots of opportunities to go and see live theatre, but there will be one performance that we will have to come and see because we will be uh, analysing and studying and writing about that particular performance. Once again, you might be asked to answer questions from the point of view of an actor or a designer. In terms of support, if you're willing to give up the time, so are we. If you need one-to-one -one support at break time, lunch time, after school, we can facilitate that, we can make that happen. If you need extra rehearsal time, once again, break times, lunch times, after school, whatever you need to get you where you need to be to get you the grade that you deserve. We will have exemplar material to show best practice. There will be extracurricular opportunities. So if you want to be involved in school shows, you'd be very, very welcome. Great way to further enhance your skills. Uh, theatre trips, as I've already mentioned, throughout year 10 and year 11 to widen your knowledge and enjoyment of drama. And perhaps most importantly of all, teachers who love drama and want to uh, help you get the best possible grades that you can. Finally, what are the course requirements? Well, you will need to be open minded. You have to be willing to try new things, explore challenging themes and topics. You need to be open to working with a wide variety of people. You won't always get to work with your friends. You have to be willing to perform your practical work when you're asked. And you need to be able to give equal time and commitment to both the practical and the written aspects of the course. Um, it doesn't matter if you've done drama before or you have any experience of drama. Um, as long as you have those things, that open-minded uh, attitude, that positive attitude, uh, you will be successful.